Andrea Tanteros is a Republican strategist. Chris Kofinas is a Democratic strategist. Andrea, why aren't we just hearing them go all the way? Boehner, McConnell, or even Gingrich flat out say Pelosi should resign. Well, I think they're giving her an opportunity to prove that she's not lying. Look, the truth is, Nancy Pelosi's great for Republicans. I mean, she gives us something to talk about. She's hurt her credibility. She's hurt her caucus's credibility. She's hurt Democrats' credibility across the board. And for, for political reasons, they're likely letting her prove and stay in the spotlight um, and, and take the heat. I mean, this is, this is actually good from a political standpoint. But, 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 you know, the, uh, her, her supporters have pointed out here, Andrea, that the CIA has not exactly had a sterling history here. After all, uh, it was faulty intelligence that got us into Iraq. Has, have the Republicans just conveniently forgotten that? Well, I don't know if I'd actually say it was faulty intelligence that got us into Iraq. Uh, I also don't think the third in line to the president discrediting in a post-9-11 world our intelligence community without any kind of substantiated evidence is irresponsible and reckless. So look, the ball's in her court. If she can't prove that the CIA was lying, then she should resign. All right, let's move on to the politics surrounding this then, um, Chris, because when we look at the approval ratings, recent polls show her, uh, her approval ratings 48% uh, or, or disapproval ratings 48% or approval ratings 39% roughly the same that Gingrich had in his first year as speaker. We're looking at blue dog Democrats who won't invite her to fundraisers in their districts and some real dissatisfaction because she has not been able to deliver on the promises she said she would. Is there going to be a coup in Congress? Do you expect to see Democrats taking her out of authority role? <laughs> There's not a chance that's going to happen. I mean, I mean, here's here's the reality. What's happening? I, you know, I love to hear Andrew and other Republicans wax poetically about their outrage. Apparently, that outrage didn't exist for the eight years of the Bush administration. This is the Republican strategy of attack and distract. When you don't have any ideas of how you want to lead the country, you basically fixate on issues that doesn't impact could, one single you, person's sorry, real life. Christo, could, that way, let me finish. Be, no, 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 let me finish. No, I'm sorry. I'm going to ask finish. you. I have this to ask reality. Distract this is the reality. Could you guys don't want to face that fact, but that is the truth. Could not that describe perfectly Nancy Pelosi's news conference the other day, a, a, a news conference of distraction where then she turns the ball um, and, and turns her aim toward the Bush administration and the war on terror and Iraq, and she would not give clear, specific answers about what she knew about waterboarding. I mean, that whole um, strategy of distraction, haven't you just, just described Nancy Pelosi? No, not at all. I mean, Contessa, listen to what she said. She had the first briefing in September where she was told about enhanced interroga interrogation techniques, but was not told that waterboarding was used. And in fact, it had been used 83 plus times before that briefing. And then you, f then you move into January when Jane Harmon is the head of the Intelligence Committee. She gets briefed that waterboarding is used. They sent a protest letter. The Bush administration responds why by saying, didn't we've Pelosi determined that these that are letter, legal Chris. techniques. Chris, why didn't I'm Pelosi sorry? sign that letter? Why didn't Pelosi because sign the letter? The she knew about it, Jane and she was Harman so offended by these tactics. Jane Harmon, listen, if you, if you know anything about Congress, that is the process. Yeah, I worked there for five Jane years. Harman, Jane Harmon sent the protest. That Thanks. is the reality of how you do things. Now, yeah. what I don't understand, no, the reality what I don't understand is, is the reality you know, is if you have a problem, outrage? you speak up when you are the where, ranking where member on the outrage? intelligence committee. Where is your outrage that the Republicans in the Bush administration used interrogation techniques, waterboarding, not to, not to prevent a terrorist attack, Chris, but to try to prove some link between Iraq and the invasion Chris, in Iraq and Al-Qaeda? First of all, that's unsubstantiated. And you show me one person in New <laughs> oh, York please. City that would object to having a caterpillar put on somebody's leg if it would have saved the lives of 3,000 New Yorkers that day. Chris, Andrea. Well, Andrea, you know what? I, if you think waterboarding is so pleasurable, I wonder how you would like to going through it like 83 plus times. I'm not an uh, accused terrorist that's trying to kill Americans. A Andrea, Chris, it, it does bring up the fact <laughs> that's that... That's a really lame, lame accusation, uh, guys, Chris. Guys, I'm going to leave the conversation here. there. Thanks.